What's up everybody, Personified here, bringing back the dynamic duo that is Sario and Roxy. So I finally leveled 90 all of these four units, of course, and surprisingly, originally I had done Mono Red with Sario and uh, Roxy with Red Gother and Best Girl Red Jericho. This time I'm going to be doing them with Green Gother for the passive. And Athena in the back, you know, just in case. We're going to run it with HP food. And let me tell you, a very good counter against um, Chandler. Since, uh, for those that don't know, Roxy's 3 star, aside from the 1 and 2 star that removes buffs, the 3 star cancels buff and stances. So if they put a stance, even with Tarmiel, she's going to remove it. She's got the nice explosion. Her two or three stars are, are absolute best since they explode after one turn. And when they explode, of course, with their passive, she heals up 30% uh, of her max HP. So that's pretty nice there. And she gets one extra orb. So even if they put Golther's orbs, pumpkin bombs, or even Amelia's um, ice, I guess, bombs, whatever. and Or even... Um, Green, uh, or the new Zeldris. And I kill one of my units. When an explosion goes off, she'll gain the orb, and I have her ult. So she's pretty good in, the, in those t type of scenarios. So we're going to run HP food. We might get beat by CC, but we're going to see how this team turns out. And hopefully we face IEMLE teams to kind of show you what this team is all about. So let's jump right in. We're into the first match, and we're dealing with... Red Gother, Merlin, and Goddess Liz. So what we're going to do here is we're going to rank up um, Roxy. Just double check. Rank up Roxy. Throw this out just in case they don't have evasion food. And put the explosion. Alright. And the explosion. Alright, so even if they put Goddess of the Shield, we'll, we'll begin to lower their health. Now, I have a feeling they're probably going to attack Disable us. So we're going to double rank up Roxy just in case. The rushing ult makes sense. Perfectly fine. Wow, okay. Alright, so what we're going to do here is double rank up Roxy. And throw this out. So we'll put a, a nice explosion on them. Start lowering the health of every unit. Nice. So there's a high chance that there's going to be a... What do you call it? A revive reset. Alright, so we do have some nice debuff cards. Let's see what they do. Probably go for a recovery disable or infect with uh, Merlin here. Not a lot of damage on us, but that's okay. Killer. And here goes the explosion. Boom. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is do this. And that should reset the revive, hopefully. Come on. Nice. And Goddess Liz should be dead. Nice. Okay. So we still have the explosion on Gother here. So he will die next turn. Wow, they got a lucky 3 star with Merlin. Probably take out one of our units. Let's see what they do. They could rank up and go for an attack disable or take out one of my units. I think their best best to get rid of Roxy here, but let's see what they do. They get rid of Roxy, makes sense. It's perfectly fine. Let's see what they do next. Get rid of Gother, okay. Alright. So the explosion is about to go off right now. Boop. Alright. So let's see what we get. Okay, so I think uh, we do this. This should kill off uh, Gother. And then we kill off Merlin. 
And we pretty much uh, won this one. So I think it's safe to say we can go uh, head into the next match. Alright, into the next match. Oh, shoot. Alright, so we're dealing with Red Gother here. So what we're going to do here is we are going to be critting Lost Vein. Which is perfectly fine. But we want to get rid of that Red Gother for the attack disable. So we're going to apply the explosion. And we crit Lost Vein. Makes sense. He could easily get his ult. Which would be big trouble for us. But let's see what they do here. So I think for the following turn, I'm going to rank up uh, Roxy here and go for the explosions. It's perfectly fine. Now, there goes the explosion. Nice. Now let's do this, that, and this. Throw out double the explosions. Nice. Oh, is Eskinor dead? Eskinor's dead. Woo! Nice. Let's see what they had in the back. Oh, of course. Goddess Liz. You know, you gotta run that that unit in the back. But we got double the explosions on these two. Even if they probably will have a... Okay, so they're rushing ult. Do they kill? Yeah, they kill. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. Because the explosion will go off and reset the revive. And... Yo Meliotis is finito. Just in case. And you get out of here. Let's check it out. Be gone. Who do we target? Goddess Liz. Nice. And you gone. Alright, safe to save a second one through and we can head into the next match. Alright, let's see what kind of cards we get. Damn it, we didn't get the cards I needed. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to rank up Sario. Kind of prepare for that. Do this and throw the explosion off. So hopefully I get another rank up. They don't put... Uh, Droz Taunt. And you're going to see some extra damage onto uh, Meliodas there. Let's see what they do. Explosion goes off. Bam. Alright, you want to you wanna be uh, Mr. Badass there? Your uh, Meliodas is dead. Oh no, what? Bye. You just want to be moving cards? Well, there's your punishment there. And the opponent forfeits. So there you have it. We're going to end this one short. Nice three matches. I did have a match that I didn't record because... The idea of 292,000 of CC is pretty insane. Of course, they're using CC food and probably have higher gear than I do. And have all their teams level 90. but And they were using a safe team. So it's pretty obvious why. But there you have it. Um, the power duel. The level 90 of Roxy and Sario. If you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time. Personified is out.